Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to Green Tea Garden, guys. Happy Friday to everybody. And guys, welcome back if you already my subscribers or you watch my videos. If you're new, guys, this channel is all about garden, all about garden tips and helping grow in a better garden. Please subscribe, it's free, and you get all my new videos right away as I update them. I know and I see there's a lot of questions still why my zucchini or squash is rotten in are turning yellow and I'm gonna get and I'm gonna let you know what you could do to prevent that and not happening because it's it's the summer in New York right now I'm in New York Long Island and it's the summer we only have a few more months so guys do not you do not want to keep losing your vegetables or you're gonna have less harvest or even nothing to harvest and and that's no good you know sometimes it doesn't it didn't pollinate it or it didn't pollinate it good if it's small because remember your plant your plant also if you have you have to have male flowers and female flowers and you gotta get some bees in the garden so if if you're not if it's not pollinated good guys it's gonna fall off or it's gonna get rotten and when you see your zucchini or squash rotting and it's small or whatever it is cut it out cut it out right away get rid of it if you see a bad leaf a rot dried up leaf get rid of it but the one the one main thing I know that caused a lot of problem guys it's calcium you guys see it in my previous one of my previous video calcium is a big part guys if your plant don't have enough calcium when it comes to squash and zucchini squash will rotten guys and you are not able to produce and your plant will have a struggle and harder time so guys you could get calcium you could get it from lime or you could get it from what I did in one of my videos shaken feed or you could get an organic plant food that has calcium inside so guys you gotta remember zucchini and squash are big plants they they produce big vegetables so you gotta make sure they have enough calcium nutrition to give this you know give this plant a big boost my number one thing though I gotta tell you my number one thing though when it comes to plant if you could do compost and you have compost eggshell add an eggshell in your compost I said it before and I'm gonna say it again add an eggshell to your compost will boost the calcium and another thing you have to watch out to guys what could cause your zucchini or squash to rotten is too much watering do not water too much guys if you're holding up your hose do half an inch of water to inch of water per day if you're vac if you're watering but if you're look you gotta look at your soil if your soil is too moist you don't need water you're good if your soil is really dried up or your plant is droopy or getting dry you need water you gotta balance the water guys you gotta try to stick to your water make sure your plant has enough space that it could grow the root guys I always told you guys make sure the root is not sharing that plant is not sharing with other plants or weeds pull out your weeds you know make sure your plant your root is clean and guys you got to do some pruning if you do all this step you add your calcium your watering and point your pollinating point and your plant still dying now this is what you call the final step guy the final stage some of some of my zucchini and squash they have no problem I really didn't put anything they just I just water and they grow they grow and they grow and they produce and there's some of them that does have problem so the one that has problem I add calcium and it worked but then I had a squash that I add calcium I was watering point and I will still grow one or two and you know like three four of them die so so I had to take the next step of pruning. So I did pr I did a uh, harvest a couple stuff out of this last uh, almost a week now, and I did add some you know some extra leaves that I didn't want. So these are my um, zucchini right here, guys. And you could see uh, that's a female, that's a male flower coming up right there. And I have about I have a couple leaves still. I have about you know say I have like eight plus leaf if you count all the small one about 10 leaves but then guys if you look at my base this is what I'm telling you if your soil is on point your nutrition is on point this is some dry grass I put um, if your soil is on point your nutrition is on point your water is on point and you still have a problem prune we don't need these back leaves guys see that I cut out all of them right after I cut out all of them, I, then you have my male flower here. The male flower, you don't need any leaves there because the male flower is just here. The male flower doesn't produce the, ve the veggies, this is the female. So when you come here now, guys, as you can see, I have leaves there. Between my female one that's growing, I have leaves between. So I didn't prune all the way there. So I'm telling you guys, if you're afraid to go extreme pruning, just do take out a couple leaves. Take out like four or five leaves from the back before you reach your vegetables so your plant is now wasting no more energy here and everything is just flowing 
everything is going to flow and your plant is going to produce a lot this plant i harvest a lot on this plant already let me show you guys my squash plant all right so guys this is my squash plant so i did a previous video about this two squash plant used to give me such a hard time of growing because i everything used to die and i'm telling you i did everything on point the water is on point it's not too much it's not too little bit and I make sure I have calcium, plant food, and everything. And it wasn't growing, so I did the pruning. Cut out the leaf there, and I stop here. I stop here, we have a male flower there, and we have some leaves. And now, going forward, I have another squash coming up there, guys. I'm telling you, the energy is just flowing and going straight to my veggies right there. This is gonna be number four squash. I pick from this plant already within uh, weeks and then I'm gonna tell you once I pick this squash right here guys I'm gonna cut out one leaf two leaf once I cut off the two leaf guys my energy is gonna push forward and it's just gonna go straight into the other veggies that's coming up there so I know how frustrated it could get if your plant is dying and it's rotten and you're doing everything so guys, I'm telling you guys this this is not a Google answer this is this is from my experience and this will work for me and if it works for me i always tell it will work for you why are your zucchini starting yellow make sure your your, your plant has to pollinate it. it it has to get pollinated once if you got male and female flowers and you got some bees in your garden it's going to get pollinated you're good the next step most of the time you'll, you're going to get bees in your garden the next step um, make sure you have calcium richen up the calcium uh, plant food organic plant food or something next step uh, do not over water watch your soil watch your plant let your plant speak to you this soil if it's dry it needs some water once a day or once every two day depends where, where you guys are located in the temperature if it's really really hot 80 plus degrees guys i water twice i water a little bit in the morning a little bit in the afternoon it, it, it's it's a lot i don't come in, for some reason i don't go and just water like hold the hose and just let it sit there for a while i don't water a lot one time so I rather water twice if it was on a hot day because I feel like because I feel like in the morning the plants are thirsty and they need it and then sure the whole day they get dried up and adding a little water in the evening just brings them back to life and I feel like it grows the veggies more like the plant the plant performs more. I start harvesting a lot more now so because of the hot weather and everything is just producing faster do the pruning if everything you try everything and is now working do the pruning guys prune a couple leaves off make sure air your plant has air the bees could come in air is flowing water could go right to the root take out a couple leaves from the beginning of the plant that you don't need and let the energy just push through and your veggies gonna grow guys so try that tip if you have any question please leave in the comment below and uh, let me know i'll love to answer the question guys and if you're new to my channel guys always please subscribe please give me a thumbs up and uh, hopefully this videos help